Hey y'all, how you doing? Ratchet this here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to. No, no, but, but but seriously. What's up everybody? I'm Fast Track, the best man Majana who ever stood in front of a camera. And Ratchetness, if you're watching, I am so sorry. But, but now nah, I I love your channel. I love your work. I love your reactions too. It's just <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, please. No shots fired, no harm done. Okay, okay. Anyway, now for now for my audience. Today I'll be reacting to not one, not two, but three different videos. However, only two of them are related. Now, I did promise I would watch the rest of the series of the Ruby series, which I was starting to like a lot. So I'll be reacting to the next two episodes, which is uh let me just <laughs> look at the titles one more time. The Shining Beacon, Part 1 and Part 2. However, before I get to those two episodes, I'll be also be reacting to the Five Nights at Freddy's World Teaser Trailer, which came out the day before Halloween. Now, I'm not subscribed to Scott Coffin's channel, mostly because... Eh, chances are I'll just find it. So I didn't know that this was released on Halloween. Mostly I was just looking at Markiplier doing the FNAF 4 Halloween edition thing, which was funny. So, before I get to Ruby, I want to watch this, see what it's all about, see if it looks interesting, if it scares me, because, let me just tell you, the scariest one I've seen was definitely Five Nights at Freddy's 3 trailer. <laughs> so, without further ado, Five Nights at Freddy World Teaser Trailer. Five, four, three, two, and we already got Freddy Fair's better face in there. One. Coming right at us. They've stalked you. Well, not me, because I haven't played the game. I was just watching Chica. They've scared you. Yes. Ooh. They've haunted you. Got that right. But now they're cute. What? Yeah. Next to you. What? what, what? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you have gotta be. You gotta be kidding me. What is this? Bullor! Starring Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Toy Mango, Phantom Freddy, Phantom Chica, Phantom Foxy, uh, Balloon Boy, JJ, Wither, Dummy, Wither Bonnie, Wither Foxy, Puppet, Phantom Puppet, Bonnie, uh, Fighting Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Foxy, Red Bear, Five, uh, Favorite Boy, Spring, uh, Spring Trap, Ain't No Fit, the, 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 uh, Mango? Things. <clears throat> wow. They took one of the scariest, most popular horror game franchises of all time, and they just turned it into a role-playing game. My, no, um, no, oh my, I'm Scott, Scott, why, okay, I thought the whole cute thing was just like a ruse, but no, this, um, a family game. Now, but, but, why, 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 what, why, what, all the, all the cutesy faces and the music, and, it, now, at first it was hiding like it was scary, but no, no, oh my god, this is, this is like major shark, shark jumping, I swear, this is like, Oh my god, now they're making it kid-friendly. They're making it all, all cutesy and wootsy. They're making it all... No offense. They're making it all white. 
no offense. Now, how wide is it? Okay, imagine Wonder Bread with a side of 2% milk eaten by conservative congressmen at a Chick-fil-A restaurant in the middle of a snowstorm Yeah, wouldn't be this white. Wendy, my gosh, Scott, why? I, I was expecting some lore, some mystery, something that would, something that would make me say, "Eat your heart out, Gravity Falls." No, this is stupid. This is terrible. This is ungodly awful. I can't wait to see when Markiplier plays this. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, well, that happened. Well, um, now that I've seen that, now to the, hopefully, the real deal of action, or anything. Now I'll be reacting to Ruby. Chapter 2, The Shining Begin, and Chapter 3, The Shining Begin, Part 2. Oh, before I get started, little heads up. Um, during my first reaction to the first episode of Ruby, you know how at the end there was that title sequence that was about a minute long, had a song, and uh, I think during that time I was getting up to check the phone? Well, I got a little bit of a copyright claim. I didn't get a strike, however, I don't want to have any trouble. So, I just did a little minute check through the episode, and I see that there is a 30-second song title, which is, I think, is the same song in, in both of the episodes. So, I'll be skipping 30 seconds in, and so that I'll be skipping the song, but still seeing the, still seeing the episode. And, uh... Since I'm not really good at computer editing, chances are that the overlaying video will be showing the intro, just not without the music. Do you see it right now? Do you see it? Uh, something, we're seeing all the characters and... Oh look, there's... There's them defeating that Grim. Yeah. Okay, without further ado, everybody line up. Ruby, show off your scythe. Thank you. Three, I mean five, four... Three, two, one. No, 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 not that, not that. Skip 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Please don't sue me. We're flying, yay. It's like the spaceport from Treasure Planet. Love that movie. Barf boy! I'm guessing he's important, because he's in color. Ooh, pretty. It is Harry Potter with guns. You from Vale's cut nothing on this. Oh, the anime it's references. Just she turned into a chibi just, just midair. They're a part of us. What's next? Hatsune Miku what pops out of nowhere. Your own weapon. Aren't you happy with it? Of course I'm happy with Crescent Rose. I just really like seeing new That thing has a name? New people. Then again, the heavy named his really? minigun Sasha. Come on, why don't you go try and make some friends of your own? But why would I need friends when so I'm So Crescent you? Rose. Well, actually my friends are here now. Thanks for up. Pinsy, away. Where are you going? Who are they? Are there our dorms? Where are our dorms? Do we have dorms? I don't know what I'm doing. She's screwball! Get it? Cause yeah, he's... What are you doing? Uh, sorry. Sorry? It's... Do you have any idea of the damage you could have caused? Weiss? Uh, give me that. This is dust. I think that's her uh, name. purified from the Schnee Quarry. Uh... What are you? Brain dead? Dust. Fire. Water. Lightning. Energy. But I don't know. Help. Are you even listening to me? Is any of this sinking in? What do you have to say for yourself? I don't even oh, know what you're talking about. No! 
Forget Screwball, she's Spike. She sneezed fire. I'm Blake! This is exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, she You're can tell. You're complete dolt. What are you even doing here? Aren't you a little young to be attending Beacon? Well, I, I... This isn't your ordinary combat school. It's not just sparring and practicing... Excuse me, my name is Snobby Von Persickety, bitch. Not where you're going. Hey, I said I was sorry, princess. It's Eris. Props to you to whistle later. Weiss Shani, heiress to the Shani Dust Company. One of the largest producers of energy... Oh, she's rich. Recognition. The same company, infamous for its controversial labor forces and questionable business partners. What? How dare! The, the nerve of... Oh. I promise I'll make this up to you! I guess I'm not the only They're one... They're frenemies, aren't they? Stay. So, what's... What, is she goth? Welcome to Beacon. Aww. Hey. I'm Jean. Ruby. Shipping. Shipping. Are you the guy that threw up on the ship? Shipping. 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 All I'm saying is that motion sickness is a much more common problem than people let on. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> Vomit Boy was the first thing that came to mind. Oh, yeah? What if I called you Crater Face? Hey, that explosion was an accident. Well, <laughs> the name's Sean Ark. Short, sweet, rolls off the tongue. Ladies love it. Do they? Sean of they Ark? Will? Well, I, I hope they will. I mean, my mom always says that. What was all the movie and fairy tale references? So, I got this thing. <laughs> Hell yeah! Is that a scythe? It's also a customizable high impact sniper rifle. Damn it, phone! It's also a gun. Oh. That's cool. So, what do you got? Oh, uh. I, I got this sword. Ooh. Yeah, you got a shield, too. So Is it also a gun? Whoa, that's like it's not. The, the shield gets smaller. So, when okay. I get tired of carrying it, I can just put it away. Sorry about the phone, guys. Wouldn't it weigh the same? Yeah, it does. So his sword well, doesn't <laughs> also kind of secondary as a gun? Weapons. I guess I did go a little overboard in designing it. Wait, you made that? Of course. All students at Signal forge their own weapons. Whoa. Didn't you make yours? It's a hand-me-down. My great-great-grandfather used it to fight in the war. Sounds more like a family heirloom to me. The war. Well, I like it. Not many people have an appreciation for the classics these days. Yeah, the classics. So why'd you help me out back there, in the courtyard? Yeah, why not? My mom always says, strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. Hmm. Hey, I believe oh, strangers I are just friends you. you haven't met. Do um, you think there might be a directory? Maybe a food Star court? in the <laughs> forces of evil. Recognizable landmark. <laughs> so, is that a no? <laughs> That's a no. Ship it. I don't know, I guess that. So. Oh my gosh, am I gonna get struck for this? Please don't strike me! Ooh! Ruby was created and president of but Rooster Teeth. Who over more videos, visit roosterteeth.com and. Okay. Well, that was The Shining Beacon Part 1. And I think we just saw all of the characters from from the trailers in that one episode. We got Ruby, Weiss, Blake, and Yang. Yet none in that order. And we got John Ark. Okay. Now, before I get to the second episode, little thing. In my other video where I react to Ruby, I got a comment saying that most of the characters are based off of fairy tale figures, such as Ruby is based off Red Riding Hood, Weiss is based off of Snow White, Blake is based off of Beauty and the Beast, I don't know how that works, but okay, Yang is based off of Goldilocks, Professor Ozpin, got the name, is based off the Wizard of Oz, Glenda Goodwitch, you get it. And now we have John Ark, which I'm guessing John of Ark. 
or or is it Joan of Joan of Arc? But Joan of Arc was a woman. Is John either John is a woman in disguise? Or he's gay? Or something else John Arc related? I don't know. The, the only thing I know about John Arc is it was ripped off to make Mulan. I saw it in Epic Rap Battles of History. I'm not. Yeah, that's all I know. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm not smart. Anyway, forget about that. We got all them characters. Oh, and the Grimm, like the Brothers Grimm, and we have all those creatures like Grim Wolves, Enemy of Red Riding Hood, Grim Bears, Goldilocks. We also have snakes and stuff. But yeah. Anyway. With that said, I think it's time we get to the third no. Yeah, third episode, which is Shining Beacon Part 2, and just to be safe, going to skip 30 seconds, so I won't get copyrighted unless those ending credits count. Please, please don't sue me! I have so much to live for! I only have, like, 180 subscribers, and please, I'm all alone. All I have is my dear mother, my father... Not so dear. My dear brother of a cat. And, and I have a girlfriend who's currently in Arizona, and I wait for her text every single day, knowing when she comes back, just so I can see her pretty face again, so we can go to In-N-Out, have a burger, maybe, maybe see a movie. Please, I, I don't have much to my name. All I do is make videos and look silly. Anyway, let's watch The Shining Beacon Part 2. Five, four, three, two, one. Nope, oh, dang it. I left it muted. Five, four, three, three, two, one. Why am I making so many mistakes in here? Yay! Hey, I can tell here. because I saved you a spot. everyone oh. is. Hey, I gotta go. I'll see you after the ceremony. Hey, wait! Ah, great. Where am I supposed to find another nice, quirky girl to talk to? How's your first date going, little sister? You mean since you ditched me and I exploded? I'm guessing he's not gay. Meltdown already? No, I literally exploded a hole in front of Unless the school. he's a girl and, and he's fired. a lesbian. Oh, forget it. Thanks, some ice. Are you being sarcastic? No, nothing wrong with gay wish. people or lesbians. I tripped over some crabby girl's luggage, and then she yelled at me. And then I sneezed, and then I exploded, uh, uh, and then uh, she yelled uh, again. Uh, and I felt really, uh, really uh, bad, but I just wanted her to stop yelling at me. You! Oh, God, it's happening again! Oh, no! You were lucky we weren't blown off the side. Oh, no! Oh, my God, you really exploded. It was an accident! It was an accident! Oh. What's this? The Schneeders Company Dust is not responsible for any injuries and or under damages inadequate sustained while operating a Schneeders Dust Company product. Although not mandatory, the Schnee family highly encourages their customers to read and familiarize themselves with this easy-to-follow guide to dust application and practice in the field. What, 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 what? You really want to start making things up to me? Absolutely. Read this and don't ever speak to me again. Look, uh, it sounds like you two just got off on the wrong foot. Why don't you start over and try to be friends, okay? Yeah, great idea, sis. <clears throat> Hello, Weiss. I'm Ruby. Weiss. Wanna hang out? Got it. We could go shopping for school supplies. Yeah, and we can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about cute yeah, boys guy. like tall, blonde, and scraggly over there. Hmm? Well, really? Really? She she likes. No. <clears throat> oh. I'll keep this brief. You have traveled oh, here today in search of knowledge to hone your craft and acquire new skills. And when you have finished. You plan to dedicate your life to the protection of the people. But I look amongst you, and all I see is wasted energy. Oh. In need of purpose. Direction. You assume knowledge will free you of this, but your time at this school will prove that knowledge can only carry you so far. It is up to you to take the first step. Is he in the future going to actually be the villain or something? Tomorrow your initiation begins. Be ready. You are dismissed. 
He seemed kind of off. It's almost like he wasn't even there. I'm a natural blonde, you know. Okay, aside from that, is he going to be the villain? Is this going to be like Hunger Games? It's like a big slumber party. I don't think Dad would approve of all the boys, though. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny shoes? Uh, I'll let her Bunny Jamie. Back at signal. I promise to and tell them Yang, all about I wouldn't mind you checking going. me out. Aw, that's so cute. Shut up. I didn't get friends with school. It's weird not knowing anyone here. So what about John? He's nice. There you go. Plus one friend. That's a hundred percent increase. Pretty sure Weiss counts as a negative friend. Back to zero. There's ah. no such thing as negative friends. You just made one friend and one enemy. <laughs> it's only been one day. Trust me. You've nice got shirt. friends all around you. You just haven't met them yet. I think that strangers are just friends you haven't met. That girl. You know her? Not really. Blake. She saw what happened this morning, but left before I could say anything. Well, now's your chance. Well, wait, what are you doing? Look. Yang. Look. Hello. That smile. I believe you two may know each other. I don't think are those you are words on her book. That girl that exploded. Uh, yeah. My name's Ruby. Her name is Sparky Sparky Boom but Girl. You could just call me Crater. Uh, actually, you could just call me Ruby. Okay. What are you doing? I don't know. Help me. So, <laughs> what's your name? Blake. Well, Blake, I'm Yang, Ruby's older sister. I like your bow. Thanks. It goes great with your pajamas. Right. Uh, well, she seems like a nice night, barrel of happiness. Yes. Laughs. It's lovely. Almost as lovely as this book. That I will continue to read. I like her already. As soon as you leave. Yeah, this girl's a lost cause. What's it about? Huh? Your book. Does it have a name? Well, it's about a man with two souls, each fighting for control over his body. Oh yeah, that's real lovely. I love books. Yang used Same. to read me every night before bed. Stories of heroes and monsters. They're one of the reasons I want to be a huntress. <laughs> Why is that? Aww. Hoping you'll live happily ever after? Well, I'm hoping we all will. As a girl, aren't you guys based off fairy tales? Just like those heroes in the books, as someone who fought for what was right and who protected people who couldn't protect themselves. That's very ambitious for a child. Unfortunately, the real world isn't the same as a fairy tale. Well, that's why we're here to make it better. Oh, I'm so proud of my baby sister. Cut it out! This is a campy animation. It's what in the world is going on over here? Don't you realize some of us are trying to sleep? Oh, not you again! Shh, guys, she's right. People are trying to sleep. Oh, now you're on my side. I was always on your side. Yeah, what's your problem with my sister? She's only trying are they going to, to sleep like that forever. My health. Well, this was great. Ooh, Weiss art. Last time Ruby, this time Weiss. Ruby was created by Poser Pro 2014. Okay, not the same as Hatsune Miku programming. But still, interesting enough. Okay, well. That was The Shining Beacon, part one and two. Oh yeah, and FNAF World teaser trailer. Okay, let's get this out of the way. FNAF World Teaser Trailer. What? Okay, Scott, let me do you a favor. I'm going to get a on a boat, go out into the Pacific Ocean, fish me up a nice big shark, bring it over to your house. And then I'm going to demonstrate with my unicycle how high you jumped over it. But nah, it looks alright. Okay, now back to the important things. Ruby. Well, we're getting some introduction of both our star characters and some new characters. We got 
John of Arc. Hmm. Who is, I think, is a mirroring image of Joan of Arc. So, we'll see how that ties in. Also, I want to see how all the four main girl characters tie in with their fairy tale counterparts. Like, all I got from Ruby is her red little hood, and <laughs> I don't know how her scythe goes in. Yang and Goldilocks, who I must say has a voice prettier than any Hollywood actress I've seen in my lifetime, and I'm 19 years old. Eh, we got the Golden Locks, and maybe a bit ditzy. Now, Blake, Beauty and the Beast. Um, is she beauty? Or is she beast? Is she both? Is she neither? Is she going to get in a relationship with some guy who is beast or something? Is it grim? Ugh. Okay, I don't want to talk about Disney princesses and bestiality. That's what Pain is for with his songs. So, yeah. And Weiss and Snow White. Well, she's not fairest of them all. That award goes to good old Yang. But, um... She's a snobby von persnickety bitch. She's rich. And, um, she's kind of fancy. Uptight. Up class. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, we also have that red-headed chick who was behind John when he was looking for a new girl to have conversation. Is she important? Probably, because she's colored. Eh. Whatever. Anyway, overall, Ruby is looking pretty good, and I can't wait to see the rest of the series. I also can't wait to see how Markiplier reacts to the new FNAF world game, and see what awesome things he can do with that, and... Okay, so, Scott, props to you. You create a genre so awesome that now you can just over-milk it, like Mario. And Ruby, I am looking forward to the rest of your series from one to three seasons. Wow. I gotta catch up a lot. Whew. So, uh, was that said, everyone? I am, I am Fast Track, I'm the best Mamma Jamma who ever stood in front of a camera. And if I do not get copyrighted, I will be back in a flash. <laughs>